your trumpets, all his angels, for this name all stars of bless. Tell the glory, O God's in heaven, bring the creatures on his breast. Feel us In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with the Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we are gathered here to honor the most holy name of Jesus in our devotion to Señor Santo Nino. We continue to pray for our community, especially for all the devotees and pilgrims of Senor Santo Nino who offer their prayers and petition here in the Basilica. We pray for our community who continues to survive this COVID-19 pandemic. We pray for our frontliners, those who are helping us in making this fight against coronavirus a success. Today, we also celebrate the memorial of Saint Anthony Patrizzi, Augustinian priest. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede. God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth. Father, he's taken 
of the world, have mercy on us. He take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. For you, the Lord, are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you the Lord are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the God, your only Son, begotten from all ages, humbled himself as a child in Nazareth and became subject to Mary and Joseph. Grant that we may learn from his example to embrace your will in all things and holding fast to the dignity of all, serve our lowly brothers and sisters with open hands and gentle heart. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. From the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians, brothers and sisters, realize that it is those who have faith who are children of Abraham. Scripture, which saw in advance that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, foretold the good news to Abraham, saying, Through you shall all the nations be blessed. Consequently, those who have faith are blessed along with Abraham, who had faith. For all who depend on works of the law are under a curse, for it is written, Cursed be everyone who does not persevere in doing all the things written in the book of the law. And that no one is justified before God by the law is clear, for the one who is righteous by faith will live. But the law does not depend on faith. Rather, the one who does these things will live by them. Christ ransomed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed be everyone who hangs on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might be extended to the Gentiles through Christ Jesus, so that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will remember His covenant forever. The Lord will remember His covenant forever. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of 
of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. The Lord will remember His covenant forever. According to Saint Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. When Jesus had driven out a demon, some of the crowd said, By the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others to test him asked him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by Beelzebul that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come to you. When a strong man fully armed against or guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stranger then or stronger than he, than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. When an unclean spirit goes out of someone, it roams through arid regions searching for rest. But finding none, it says, I shall return to my home from which I came. But upon entering or returning, it finds it swept clean and put in order. Then it goes and brings back seven other spirits, more wicked than itself, who move in and dwell there, and the last condition of that man is worse than the first. My dear brothers and sisters, 
The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. This time of the, of the pandemic, there are many good works were being done, especially to the least of our brothers and sisters. To those who are suffering more, it's because of their condition in life. These good works are being expressed to many kinds of forms. Na ay nang hatag og mga relief goods, others would shell off their money, others would in their capacity to build up greater things in life, magpatukod og mga puloyanan, mga temporary shelter, o ang mga institution sama sa simbahan, dunay mga gihimo ng mga fundraising o relief goods, aron nga ipa tunhay kini nga mga uh, tinguha sa simbahan o sa komunidad. We call them good works. And indeed, sa simbahan, mga kaigsunan, naakitay gitawag nga seven works of mercy, which are good works as well. It's either physical or corporal, and then spiritual. But pa sa but, mga kaigsunan, sa simbahan, part of our expression of that faith given to us by God, ipakita sa maayong buhat. And indeed, kita nagtinguha sa mga gagmayng pamaagi o glakang nga mahimo na to kining mga good works because of what God has encouraged us in Jesus Christ. Why am I talking about good works, my dear brothers and sisters? It's because of the gospel that we have. The gospel reading that we read from the Gospel of St. Luke speak about of the good work of Jesus, mga maayong buhat ni Jesus. Jesus as the model of the good works that we are doing. But pa sabot, ma-realize bitaw na to, mga kaigsunan nga ang mga maayong buhat nga gihimo na to sa atong isig katawo, sa sulod o sa gawa sa simbahan are actually a replication or replications of Jesus' action to His people. And, sama sa gihimo ni Jesus, ang good works sometimes can be undermined. Sa akong pagpamalandong mga kaigsunan o pagpuki sa kasulatan o sa mga pagpamalandong usab sa mga santos, dunay duha kapamaagi nga ma-undermine ng atong good work. Ang una, Ang maayong buhat pwede ma-undermine o pwede bitaw ka ng ma, ma, mahimong dili makahulugan nun o walay pulos sa kaugalingon. Number one, sa kaugalingon. Kini na ay uh, kuan comment, di ka ni St. Augustine. What is the reason ko no, nga nung ma-undermine man sa kaugalingon ang mga maayong buhat? Ningon si San Agustin, no? especially in the rule of life na gihatag niya, sa iyang mga followers, he said that even in good works, pride could lurk, could lurk in. But pa sa but, pwede sudlan sa garbo ang mga maayong buhat. But pa sa but, mga kaigsunan, bisan to di ay nga naghimo at kaayuhan sa atong isig katawo, pwede di ay ni siya gikanan sa atong garbo sa atong kaugalingon. Ma-undermine ang kahulugan sa good work, dili na siya gikan ni Heso Kristo, Gika na siya sa atong kaugalingon. O kung mugikan ginagani siya sa atong kaugalingon, mga kaigsunan, basin unya ang temptation na ito, ma-undermine ang makahuluganon sa paghimog mga maayong buhat kay tungod simbaho na nato ang atong kaugalingon. Daigo na nato ang atong kaugalingon. Tanawo na lang nato palandungon sudungon ang atong kaugalingon. And with that, my dear brothers and sisters, when this comes in into our lives, evil enter into our hearts. Kita na mismo ang nagpasulod sa demonyo sa atong kaugalingon. Number two, ang ikaduha nga pamaagi nga pwede ma-undermine ang mga maayong buhat nga gihimo sa Kristiyano is what is being reflected in the gospel reading today. It's true, it, it is about the gospel of... Um, of the devil that is being 
um, discuss here, si Beelzebul. There is the tradition in, in the time of Jesus that Beelzebul is the head of the demons, no? So, si Satanas, ang demonyo, the devil, the evil one, no? So, it can be undermined not because of oneself, and of course, Jesus, as the model of all good works, He does it humbly. Gihimo niya nga dunay pagpaubos sa kaugalingon. Wala niya ni uh, gihimo ang mga maayong buhat alang sa iyang ipakas- ipakasigarbo sa iyang kaugalingon. While He is not doing it, others are doing to undermine the good works of God. Unsay na itabo, ilang gitandi ang maayong buhat ni Kristo diha sa trabaho sa usa ka demonyo. Diba? Ang sa ilang isulti? By the power of Beelzebul that he is casting out demons. And how irrational it is when Jesus is telling them, answering them, unsa mang good na, oi? Dili mang good na ang saktong niyong gihimo kay kung tinuod nga sa pamaagi sa gahum sa demonyo, ako mag... Uh, palagpot og demonyo si satanas na mismo ang nagpatay sa iyang kaugalingon which means my dear brothers and sisters that how irrational when other people are also undermining our good works that is why the message of this gospel today nga hinaw dunta sa pagtan-aw nato sa tong kaugalingon when while doing this good work that we have Dili unta mugikan sa atong kaugalingon ang pagkalaglag sa mga maayong buhat nga gihimo nato na agyud ubang tawo nga magpakaalaot sa atong mga maayong buhat bisan unsa pa ka maayo ka objective ka selfless sa imong pagbuhat kay ginuo ganay nato si Kristo mismo gi undermine ang iyang maayong buhat pero mga kaisan Ayaw o kawag tangog paglaom about ni ini. Don't lose hope. When because when we are undermined, especially when we're doing good works for our brothers and sisters, kung kay baluka nga gihimo na nimo diha sa timos timong pagbuhat sa imuhang maayong mga binuhatan isip usa ka Kristiyano, padayuna ang paghimo ni ini. Let them criticize you. Let them accuse you. Because, kung si Kristo pang musulti, if Satan is doing this for his own failure, then it will be a failure. Ang mga tao, doon na ganay kasulti. Doon na ganay ka ng mga daotan na isulti sa ilang isigatawo, bisan tuod maayong buhat ang ilang gihimo. Bisan timus o objective pa na ang mga binuhatan. Na, doon na ikareklamo. Bisan wala na ikareklamo. Magreklamo, kaya po na. Why? Because while the pride is not in you, the pride is in these people. And that is why, my dear brothers and sisters, the kini nga minsahi ka na tanan at this point of time that we experience this pandemic, that while we are doing our good work, hinaot unta nga kita mas maalamon kita, mas ma, ma, uh, ma kinaadmanon kita sa pagtuki sa mga adlaw-adlaw nga paghitabo sa atong nasud, sa atong komunidad, sa atong katilingban. While basin nag-criticize lang ta for the sake of our own, for the sake of our own, um, in, a, in a sense, satisfaction. Pero, nakalimot day tang ang atong isig katawo, naghimo og mga maayong buhat, dili alang sa iyang kaugalingon, kundi dili alang sa ikapalambo sa atong isig katawo. Basin unya, mga kaigsunan, we fail to understand what they are doing, and we also fail to see in ourselves that we become the devil of our brothers and sisters. Not necessarily but we become devil to each other. Not maybe the devil that, that Jesus is telling about the gospel today, but we become agents of the devil, agents of division, agents of being falling apart as a community of God. 
We remember at the last part of the gospel, it says there, it will come in. Mubalik ang demonyo. O dili siya mubalik na nag-inusara lang siya. Kung magligon kita sa itong pagtuo, mas mudaghan ang demonyo, mas mudaghan ang mustorya, mas mudaghan ang mukritisize. And that is why, liguno na to ang atong pagtuo. Salig sa Diyos, salig kang Kristo, nga naghatag ka na ito nining pagtuo. And while we continue in this Eucharistic celebration, praying for our community nga atong ma makalampus kita ni ining pandemya, we pray that when we do this fight against COVID virus, we pray that we should not fight each other. Because when we fight each other, because of the pride that lurks into our hearts, before the virus will eventually break us, we are breaking each other. Amen. Let us all stand, let us all pray for all the things that we need. My dear brothers and sisters, gathered together in Christ who conquers all evil, let us come confidently to the Father with our prayerful intentions. In every intention, let us pray to the Lord as we say, Let us be victorious in Christ, O Father. Let us be victorious in Christ, O Father, that the Church may be renewed and give faithful witness to the proper values of life and so help restore a fallen world. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us be victorious in Christ, O Father, that Christian believers may have the courage to speak out boldly in the name of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us be victorious in Christ, O Father, that we may give wholehearted support in upholding the truth and in opposing the subtle influences of evil. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us be victorious in Christ, O Father, that the sick and the handicapped may receive the comfort of God's love from those engaged in caring for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us be victorious in Christ, O Father. That the servant of God, Diophilu Kamumut, Bishop, be raised to the altar of the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us be victorious in Christ, O Father. For all the intentions and prayers offered by the pilgrims and devotees of Señor Santo Niño, let us pray to the Lord. Let us be victorious in Christ, O Father. For peace in our country and in the whole world, let us pray to the Lord. Let us be victorious in Christ, O Father. For all indirect patient care, give them strength for their service. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us be victorious in Christ, O Father. For all those isolated in their homes, sustain them in joy and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us be victorious in Christ, O Father. For decision-makers at all levels, send them your wisdom and good counsel to serve their communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us be victorious in Christ, O Father. For all those who have died because of the pandemic and those who grieve their loss in isolation, Comfort them in their sorrow. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us be victorious in Christ, O Father. Almighty Father, as we offer our prayers, we thank you for your Son who conquered sin and death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Love. 
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. God, our Creator, we offer the gifts of bread and wine to recall the childhood of your only Son. Let our offering become the sacrifice of Him who brought forgiveness and peace to the world. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this awful mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours. And begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time, so that, raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so, with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we hear this bread and drink this love, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, with his assisting Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your Blessed Apostles, with St. Augustine, St. Monica, Blessed Anthony, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray confidently to the Father in the very words Jesus himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is. Trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For there is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Live God. Stay away the sins of the world Have mercy on us Let oh God Stay away the sins of the world Have mercy on us Let oh God Stay My dear brothers and sisters, behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that I should enter under my roof, but I will say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Amen. of spiritual communion. My Jesus, 
I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Loving Father, you have nourished us at the banquet in honor of the child born of the Virgin. We pray that we may advance in wisdom and grow daily in faith and works of love so that we may find favor in your sight. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Perpetual Novena in honor of Senor Santo Nino. Prayer to Santo Nino. O Senor Santo Nino, you are King and our God. We worship you. You are a strong defender. We turn to you. You are the patron of Cebu and the Philippines. We come to you. You have made extraordinary wonders through your miraculous image in these chosen islands. Remember us. Look down at this poor soul that comes to you for help. Lead us with your wisdom. Discipline us with your truth. Console us with your tenderness. Protect us with your might. We consecrate today our thoughts to you. Only with you shall they be occupied. Our words, only of you shall they speak our sufferings that we may endure them. We beg you, Senor Santo Nino, illumine understanding, kindle our will, cleanse our body, sanctify our soul. We wish what you wish, because you wish, as you wish, as long as you wish. Grant us, Senor Santo Nino, that we may feel love toward you, be strict toward ourselves, be zealous toward our fellow men, and rightly despise the things of the world. Help us to overcome sensuality with strict discipline, avariciousness with generosity, anger with gentleness, indolence with zealous industry. Make us wise in counsel, courageous in danger, patient in adversity, humble in prosperity. Teach us, dear Santo Nino, how worthless is the world, how sublime is heaven, how brief is time, how long is eternity. Grant us, lastly, that we may remember you, adore you, love you, and serve you, here on earth, that we may be happy with you forever and in heaven. Amen. Supplications to Santo Nino. In every need, let us come to you with humble trust. Santo Nino, help us. In all, in all our doubts, perplexities, and temptations. Santo Nino, help us. In hours of loneliness, weariness, and trials. Santo Nino, help us. In the failure of our plans and hopes. Santo Nino, help us. In disappointments, troubles, and sorrows. Santo Nino, help us. When others fail us, and your grace alone can assist us. Santo Nino, help us. When we throw ourselves on your tender love as our only refuge. Santo Nino, help us. When our heart is cast down by failure. Santo Nino, help us. When we are ill and our head and hands cannot work and we are lonely. Santo Nino, help us. When we feel impatient and our cross irritates us. Santo Nino, help us. Always, always, in spite of weakness, faults, and shortcomings of every kind. Santo Nino, help us. Let us pray. O Santo Nino, who has said, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find, now can it shall be open unto you. Give we beseech you to us who ask the gift of your divine love, that we may love you with our whole heart, in word and work, and never cease from showing forth your grace. Make us, O Lord, to have a perpetual fear and love of your holy name, for you never fail to govern them, whom do you solidly establish in your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Concluding prayer. O miraculous Santo Nino, prostrate before your sacred image, we beseech you to cast a merciful look on our troubled hearts. Let your tender love so incline to pity, be softened at our prayers, and grant us that grace for which we ardently implore you. Take from us all unbearable affliction and despair. For your sacred infancy's sake, hear our prayers and send us consolation and aid, that we may praise you with the Father and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. O Prince, Prince of the, the heavenly hosts, by, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits, roaming around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Mary, Queen of Angels, pray for us. Holy angels in heaven, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow down and pray for God's blessing. 
Direct your people, O Lord, we pray, with heavenly instruction, that by avoiding every evil and pursuing all that is good, they may earn not your anger, but your unending mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Viva Pit Senor! Viva Pit Senor! Mayang bunta, ganatong tanan. Santa Ninyo, Santa Ninyo, Senyo Santa Ninyo O nagawang salamat sa kaayong mo O naibig sa kanunay mo, simbahon ka ngayon Santa Ninyo, Santa Ninyo, Mago 